fire was contained to one room. Smoke and water damage throughout the rest of the building. But really, thanks to his quick work getting those people out, they're all here today because of him. So that's why we're here. I got this for the mayor to present it to him. Yes, Mr. Robinson. Again, on that morning, and a lot of you don't know that, I had heard over the radio about the fire. When I arrived, it was already contained. The children, the women, the men were out because of all of you. Now let me read the following. The city of Blue Island presents the certificate to extend, and I repeat, our gratitude to Dennis Robinson for his heroic efforts and quick response. On January 31st, 2015, Mr. Robinson saw a fire coming from the second floor windows at 1933 West 127th Street. Mr. Robinson called 911 and reported the fire. <clears throat> While crews were being dispatched, and you heard it, Mr. Robinson proceeded to knock on the doors of the apartments to alert all 21 residents of the fire. As a result of Mr. Robinson's actions, the residents got out of the building safely, which allowed the fire crews to concentrate on the extinguishment of the fire. Now, Mr. Robinson, you're our hero. Okay. Thank you. Way to go, Chief. Mr. Robinson, you have the mic. <laughs> I, I'm very humbled to be here, and um, I'm sure everybody in this room would have done the same thing I did. I was just on my way home from work and um, had a lot of firefighting training in 20 years in the military, so uh, it paid off, and I appreciate uh, what your town has done. Thank you. Next, I'll pass it on to the chief or Mr. McGeever, whichever one. Well, the, the second part of the fire was was the coordination between uh, the three telecommunicators who did an outstanding job, uh, basically way, uh, organizing, uh, basically chaos. Uh, they had to call the not only the fire department, the police department, but utility companies, while communicating with Mr. Robinson. And for that, they did an outstanding job. And, we really appreciate it. These are the heroes behind the uh, telephone when you call for help, and, and oftentimes they're underappreciated. So we want to say thank you. Let me start out with Tina Nevin. Step forward. <laughs> They'll say this. The city of Guayana presents this certificate to extend our gratitude, Tina Nevin. Again, on Saturday, January 31st, 2015, at 646, telecommunicator Melissa Service received a call for a structured fire at 127th in Winchester. After confirming the location, telecommunicator Service advised the caller to remain on the line and dispatch to appropriate units, Blue Island, Calumet Park, Marinette Park, and Pozen Fire Department. During the call, the caller, Dennis Robinson, can be heard knocking on the doors, urging people to get out of the building. <coughs> Telecommunicator Jill Caldwell received a call from the Metro Police Department, who verified the address to be 1933 West on 27th Street. Telecommunicator uh, Tina Nedbitt immediately dispatched two Hawaiian police officers <coughs> to the scene. Acting as a unified team, telecommunicators Tina Nedman, Jill Caldwell, and Melissa Service were able to effectively handle all activity at the fire scene, as well as making notifications to utility companies, other Blue Island Department heads, and the Blue Island Department of Emergency Management, <coughs> along with continuing to accurately monitor and execute the needs of the additional towns dispatched the Blue Island 911 Dispatch Center. <coughs> telecommunicators Tina Nedman, Jill Caldwell, and the Missile Service are commended, I repeat, commended for a good, a well done, job done, well done. By myself, Mayor Domingo Vargas, uh, also signed by our Director of 911, uh, and our Supervisor, uh, McGeever. Again, these are all. Can we present us with Melissa? <coughs> and Jill. 
Congratulations.